Welcome back guys, so just very quickly in my last tutorial I made like this lava texture um, that uh, we, we created this lava texture I think the difference is that I use some different uh, uh, material for the lava itself but uh, but now I made it that you can just place down these um, <clears throat> these water bodies and then you can basically have lava pools um, However, as you can see, we have some Z fighting here, and it's uh, probably because of the H LODs or LODs, or I just don't know how it works with the water with the water system in Unreal Engine. So, if anybody knows why we have this uh, Z fighting, it's as you can see, it disappears as soon as you get closer. So, as soon as the so as soon as it loads in a more complex uh, model, it just disappears. So, it's probably something with the with the LODs. And I just haven't, I just, I just couldn't figure out. So if anyone knows how to fix this in the in the uh, comment section, then please help me. Um, so yeah, so let's 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 get to, into it. Uh, how you can replace the water material with anything else, basically. Um, one quick thing: uh, you have these kind of like highlights, like maybe caustics um, that I couldn't really disable I checked everywhere it's probably just uh, just a box that you have to uncheck uh, and I couldn't find it so having said that um, yeah let's go all right so when you click on the water uh, body lake that you have to you know you have to enable the plugin for the water um, things and the ocean things and as soon as you just drag and drop uh, maybe like a river here you can just scroll down and then you can find something that is called uh, the water material here. Yes, so water material. And then if you double click on it, it opens up an instance material. And you scroll down, then you can find a water instance material. And if you double click on this as well, then you see now we have a lava material, but you will have water uh, material here. So. If you click on this little icon to browse it, uh, then it's going to take you, it's going to select this one um, or, or something, uh, maybe this one um, <clears throat> for you. So, no, you, it's going to select this one, yes. So this is your basic water material. When you, when you click browse, you're gonna see this one. So, having said that, you open it up again and then you go again double click on the parent material here and then you just basically switch this water material um, so you are going to have I'm not gonna click it because it's going to compile for me and it's like a lot of fucking times time so uh, just replace it with the new material you you just created right so you just duplicate this and you just rename it to lava and just replace it so now if you duplicated it you will see something like this but it's going to say up here that it's a lava material um, because you named it that way so what we really want to see is this water attribute we wanna we wanna um, modify this and also we want to delete some like normal maps like uh, uh, flow maps and like beach foam we don't need beach foam in lava and like we, we kind of want to delete a lot of things we kind of want to delete um, this scattering and absorption because lava doesn't really fucking absorb anything it's just so like murky and thick that you can't really see under it so it's not translucent i'm trying to say that thing or uh, you just you're just gonna delete uh, all this and if you do delete it you have to plug a zero to the phase and the uh, absorption or maybe only the absorption um, but i'm gonna show you how so we, we generally want to find this material which is the water material that you duplicate and you set name it lava material and then we want to duplicate this attribute as well. So we just click it, we select it, and then we click browse a bunch of fucking times because sometimes it does not work. And then it just um, it uh, drops us into the layers folder. And here it is, our water attributes that you again just duplicate and you just, uh, you just uh, rename it to lava attributes, right? So now here is where everything is. Uh, going to start you open up the lava the lava attributes 
and then you replace every single attribute here that you that we don't need so as you can see we have reflect uh, we have a refraction we don't need refraction so i um removed it however we have ambient occlusion for the rocks and we have um emissive color for the lava so i basically you basically just click on this and you just drag drag and drop this down um, or open it up and you just type emissive and then you have a missive color and if you don't like the order then you just put it up there um, so that's how you do it um, and we totally messed it up right now so i'm going to get to the get back to the roughness here and oh fuck okay i thought i totally fucked it up uh so so now um i'm going to just not save this so you modify this to your uh, lava material so what channels you have and then you delete everything else here and I'm not going to save this and now as you can see this is the modified one so we have base color roughness normal emissive and ambient um, <clears throat> so we basically just copy and paste our lava material that we created in the last tutorial uh, the only thing that I just pretty much upgraded it to a better version because I now use textures for the uh, flowing lava part as well so I just upgraded it and you just plug it in and you just uh, compile it or like save it so now we have the lava attributes now we are we're halfway there um, <clears throat> now we are going to go back to the water material and I just don't know a better way just to click it uh, like every time you just go to the parent material here And then you, repla you replace the water material to your lava material. If you have not, then just click on the browse and then you duplicate the water material, or you rename it to lava material and you open it up. Um, <clears throat> and also you, you replace it here, right? It says water material, but you say it's lava material. Okay, so now we open up the lava material that we created, which is basically just the water material. So it should look something like this for you and it should look something like this after we finish so let's see what is not uh, going to be uh, in this material so as you can see uh, we deleted everything that is scattering and absorption right so we, we deleted everything and we connected zero to the absorption because it has to have a value so i don't know if one is a better value i use uh, zero and it's uh, absolutely fine um, so you just delete this but make sure you're not changing your water material, you're changing your lava material that you just created because the engine always want to use the, the water material. So anytime you open up any other project, you will fuck up the, your, uh, your uh, engine material or like water material. So any other project that you open up in this version of Unreal Engine, if you edit this water material, it's going to be edited in those uh, projects as well. So you don't want to have... Uh, if you have if you're making like an island game then you don't want to have lava around you right so just don't just don't fuck it this up that's why i'm saying like duplicate it and modify the other thing okay um because first i modified it um and i like deleted everything here because i thought it's project specific but no it's engine specific so i just fucked it up and i had to revert my engine so that just don't do that I had a lot of times compiling, I had like a lot of fucking hours I was just sitting here and watching the engine compile because of this mistake. So don't do it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, height mapping, I left it uh, in. I just don't know what this does, honestly. And mas masking, it's probably can, it probably has to do something with the how you mask uh, the plane that you put your material on. So it's probably mask from depth. I, I, just, I, had, I have just no idea. You can probably just... Uh, uh, open these up and like have a look and see what you need and what not uh, What I can confidently say is that you probably don't need the beach foam. So you just delete this um, and you just connect uh, This to the sam uh, sample fluid simulation um, the, the enable reverting and now Actually water attributes This is the waves which we disable uh, later so we don't really need this and then 
basically that's it you just don't really want to delete anything else uh, I think we have some things where you, if you want to try to delete the waves uh, you're gonna get an error eventually because the engine tries to get you waves so the they are um, DA and, and it can't so the the solution is not to delete the waves but to modify it so it's the values are zeros so there are like little to no waves or like no waves at all so yeah um so this is what you should have so we deleted the bitch form and then we replace so here you you will have voter attributes written but you just want to drag and drop your um when you click on this one, if you click on the water attributes and you click on this one, it's going to drop uh, drop it to, your, to the folder, to the layers folder, where you created your lava attributes, where you replace the water material to your lava material, and you just drag and drop this here, and then you just connect it <coughs> to the water material, uh, to the water attributes um, here. So you just replace the water attributes with your lava attributes, and you have to do this again another time, somewhere here, or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm totally wrong. Okay, you don't have to do this another time. You just have to do this this time. So now it's basically set. Um, and you should have... Wait, uh... Oh, yeah, you can... Yeah, no, 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 you just don't modify it. Yeah, I just don't modify it. Okay. Uh, for you, it's yes. Um, except if you fucked up something with the, with the original water material because you don't want to fuck it up. Um, th there is no Z fighting here, so it may not be a Lord's thing. It's it's maybe just a uh, it's maybe just a uh, Unreal Engine bug thing. I I'm just not sure. Uh, so this obviously looks a little funky, but I just tried to test if it has to do something with um, the placement of the water here. And uh, and you can see it's it it modifies the terrain like weird like really weirdly. And I'm just not sure if uh, this is something the devs meant to have here. Or well, it's something I fucked up. Uh, I truly can't tell. But in theory, you should have now uh, see your lava material after you compiled. And now you can basically... I'm pretty sure if you were to take, ta take the time and uh, go through these one by one, then you could find... A solution to the problem where you have to or, 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 or you have these uh, little caustics here because we don't want to we don't want to have that right so also it's really reflective lava shouldn't be this reflective so I, I'm guessing it has to do something with the specular channel that we just probably did not create so let's uh, <clears throat> let's go back to the material and let's fix that Right over, we are at the layers uh, already. So let's open up lava attributes and let's uh, create another specular. So now that you can actually see how this how this works, um, and now we are going to just connect uh, zero to the specular. And now if we press apply, look at the uh, well, you can't look at the reflection there because it's going to compile. Alright, so I don't know how the compiling works right now, but Unreal Engine just forgets to notify me. Uh, it's, it, it's, as you can see, it's not completely done yet, but we removed the specular, so that's like, that's like good. Okay, so, like that, how we just, uh, how we just uh, realized that it shouldn't be that specular and we just modified some things to make it more realistic, then you can just go through all these and then... Um, and then modify some more stuff for you. Man, this really should be faster. But uh, hey, it's up to you what you like and what you don't like. Okay, so I think we're finished here. If you have any questions in the comment section, feel free to ask it. I might try to answer it. I don't have the answer for everything, obviously, but we'll try. Okay, we'll try. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out other videos of mine, then please click on the screen right here. And if you want to support me with the subscribe, and that 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 would be really appreciated. So, I know a lot of people don't get here to, to this far in the video, but hey, if you're here, then I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're dedicated, right? So, 
you might as well just subscribe. Goodbye.